in terms of resilience, I think it's a fine balance. This is where we make our money. What commanders, chiefs, first sergeants, first line supervisors, what they, the impact that they can have in terms of resilience, more important than anything that, that we can do at the Air Force level. Because they're the ones who see the airmen every day. They're the ones who actually know the situations that they have. They're the ones who actually contribute to creating the environment that uh, either allow airmen to thrive or that force them to, to, to go the other way. So what they can do is they can be engaging, uh, they can be tough, they can be motivating, they can be inspirational, you know, all those things that we all look for, just like for me, uh, knowing that I had people around me, my supervisors, my teammates that cared about me and cared about my situation and took the time uh, to look me in the eyeballs on a pretty regular basis to see how I was doing that could recognize when something was a little bit off. That's, that's what made the difference. That's what helped me build uh, my, my resilience. Uh, so it's important to be able to, on a pretty regular basis, look in the mirror and say to yourself, man, I'm, I'm kind of out of bounds. I'm, I'm, I'm out of whack with where I'm supposed to be and how I'm treating my people, how I'm taking care of myself. And I think if you take that along with the ability of friends, colleagues, teammates, wingmen, supervisors saying, hey, Mac, you're out of bounds. You know, this is not who you are. You know, I, I saw something today that disturbed me a little bit and, and I want to make sure you're doing OK. So as long as you can you can have both sides of that coin helping regulate, you know, who you are and, and, and how you present then I think you can maintain the, the integrity of you know, who you are and stay resilient as, as airmen.